Momentum trading is a strategy that's used by traders to identify and capitalize on stocks that are showing strong upward or downward price movements. And this strategy is going to be used by those who want to buy stocks or, or futures, it doesn't matter, that have had a big jump in price or are about to, or those who want to sell stocks that have dropped significantly. So the whole idea behind momentum trading is to take advantage of the current trend and then the second leg in a trending pattern. So you can do these either through day trading or swing trading. So the question is, what makes a stock ideal for momentum trading? So when you're looking for potential momentum trades, you got to focus on stocks that show high levels of volatility and liquidity. Volatility indicates how much that stock has been moving up or down over time. Higher volatility usually means bigger moves and more opportunities for profits. Liquidity refers to how easily you can buy or sell shares without affecting the overall market, right? Or the prices that you're entering or exiting at. Higher liquidity typically means less slippage, which is the price difference between when you enter your trade and what you get filled at. Stocks with higher volume, they tend to be more liquid than those with lower volume. So they're often better suited for momentum trading strategies. How do you choose the right stock? It's a big question. So when you're skilled in recognizing stock movements and trends, you can make use of momentum trading as a technique to profit. So with that knowledge, it becomes easier to determine which stocks are best suited. So every day there are stocks that are showing setups, both day trading and swing trading, that are candidates for momentum trades. Choosing the right stocks can be as simple as looking for a big move in price, a consolidation pattern, and then a resumption of the trend move. So what makes that stock ideal? You wanna see a stock that has shown significant price movement over a short period of time. So an important factor is the price action of the stock. So in this example here, price made a big move to the upside. It's 105% gain. So after that run in price, stocks and other instruments, they tend to consolidate as we see here. Inside the range, this is clean price action. It's orderly. And then price begins to base just under resistance now. That's bullish. So tip, we do not want to see strong momentum in the opposite direction of this uptrend. And we don't see that. So eventually price breaks out of the range into a 63% increase for the second leg of the move. Now, volatility is a key characteristic when you're looking at momentum stocks. So a volatile stock is gonna move up and down pretty quickly. That's gonna create opportunities for quick gains if you trade them properly. So we want the volatility to be directional. Trading an instrument that has whipsaw volatility, that's a recipe for disaster. And liquidity, also essential when we select our stocks because it allows us to enter and exit positions quickly without affecting the price of the stock. Slippage can occur, when you're trading momentum and you may get filled at a worse price than you expected. Now, most traders that are retail traders, they're not going to move the instrument at all with their orders unless they're trading an extremely thin stock. So stocks with high liquidity, they tend to have tight spreads between the bid and ask prices. That makes them more attractive to traders. This is going to allow for faster execution, better execution when you place trades and getting filled. The stock here, 64% move in price after a breakout. We see a consolidation in a sideways range and price breaks 56% to the upside. Now, technical indicators like moving averages, they can help identify trends and the state of price, right? If it's trending or consolidating. Technical analysis, that can help you with decisions about where entry and exit points should be placed. Right? And it'll also help you with strategies that could yield better returns. So to add some objectiveness to our trading, look for price to move into a 10, 20, or 50 period moving average as we see here. Now this is a good technique because it shows that there's some time value to the length of the consolidation. Longer bases, they tend to have a larger second move than the shorter ones. So to find momentum stocks, look for a strong price trend, look for good liquidity. These are essential. And once you determine that feature, you need to narrow down your list of candidates that you're going to trade because obviously you can't trade all of them. With choosing the right stocks, you need a specific routine, right? So it's essential that you have a method in place that can help you recognize and pick out potential stocks. So what's your time frame? All time frames can be used for momentum trading, okay? But they all come with pros and cons. So an intraday momentum trade off of a 15 minute chart is going to react differently than one from a daily time frame. Momentum can persist and pauses are more obvious on the lower time frame charts. So these obvious pauses that you see on the lower time frames, they could have you exiting your position while the momentum is still evident on the daily charts. Analyzing trends. So the most successful traders are going to pay close attention to the trends, the price action, and use them as an indicator of what stocks could be poised for big moves. So traders who are successful, they're going to use chart patterns. They're going to use indicators. 
All this to help understand the stock's movement and make sure that it's suitable for a momentum trade setup. So as we talked about earlier in those charts above, we used a large move in price and then a pause to zero in on the stocks that could be setting up a big move. So a large price move can be anything from 25% and up. So here's a couple of scans. They don't need to be complicated. Look for price above $3 volume greater than 100,000. Look for the average daily range of 5% or higher. You can use ATR percent as well if you want. Sort by performance over the week or one month, three months, six months. Other scans, you can also look for price above $3 again. Look for volume greater than 200,000. Look for performance on the month plus 50% and sort by performance over the quarter. We can look at fundamentals. Some people do that. They look at um, the financials of the stock, profit increases, debt equity ratios, PE values. Just to get an idea, if it's a good long-term investment, I do not focus on company fundamentals at all. Too many people out there much smarter than me looking at those. Look at liquidity. So again, momentum trading requires buying shares quickly. So having a liquid stock, it's key. Low liquidity means there's gonna be probably higher spreads between the bid-ask prices. That's gonna cost you money. When you choose stocks, focus on those with high daily volumes so that you know there are enough buyers and sellers available when you need them. This way, your orders will fill easily without having too much impact on price movements. You'll get less slippage. Due to my own position size, I can trade stocks with lower volume, like 300,000 and up. Large players, well, they're probably going to want to consider a million shares and up so they don't push the stock price. Take advantage of news release or leveraging social media. That could give traders an edge. We did see that with GameStop and AMC, where traders took advantage of the large and fast move that occurred due to social media. So when it comes to trading momentum stocks, the key, choosing the right stocks, and you can use those scans we just talked about. When you understand what makes a stock ideal for momentum trading and how to identify them, you can make better decisions. Now day traders, swing traders, you can all benefit from the strategy if you select the right stocks, right? Narrow down your criteria. So you gotta do your research, you got to set realistic expectations and choose the right stocks. Speaking of choosing, there are a lot of overused indicators that people don't even use correctly. This is something different. This is going to be what we call the ultimate guide to price pattern trading. It's totally free. You can download your free guide. The link is to the left or down below in the description. Thanks for watching.